my own world of make-believe Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep I love everything Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright Hush What's up, bro? So today we're gonna be splicing a 450D in the trailer in a wonderful spot. Very busy road. It just keeps on snowing. So yeah, hopefully people slow down. But you know, a lot of people drive like idiots. So we'll see what happens. But it's very easy. Just a little dangerous today. So I'm gonna get the lights hooked up, the heat, and uh, drop that coil and we'll get at it. All right, we got the uh, fiber in the trailer. It's about 15 degrees out Fahrenheit. Freaking cold, bud. But we'll get at it. Winter is here in Maine, full blast. sure if someone hit this trailer going like 50 and that's a game over yeah. always put that there to remember put it on you start splicing without the butt not a fun day tails all like this because I did this at the end of the day the other day just to get it taped and ready. This is a 144 ring cut with a uh, 48 count and a 12 count. Shouldn't be too bad.
off to the side. Twelve feet on a one forty four. So we got four nine one six, four nine two eight. And that's like twenty. No, that's uh, that's twelve feet right there. making our score marks never want to cut all the way through just a little bit you cut all the way through you'll start cutting tubes and be doing a full-blown butt splice usually on the top side of the writing you start filleting little by little looking for that red string Definitely put a new blade in this thing. It's not working very good. still cold in here I ain't warmed up much I believe this stuff has two strings but we'll find out like in the summer's time I would only pull one string but where this fiber is very cold right now I'll probably pull both of them been a while since I been doing a lot of aerial splicing lately so I actually haven't done this in a few months so that other string should be about right here somewhere there she is thing this is unarmored so it pulls pretty easy
separate. Just like that. Like there, apparently I didn't score it enough. Usually we'll snap in half on the score mark. This is, exposes all the pretty colors. So if you scored it right, once you get to it, you just bend it backwards and it rips off. And it wasn't cut all the way through, it just, that little bit of scoring makes it want to break there, which is what you want. It a little looser too. I don't know if you can hear it on camera, but every time a car goes by, you can just feel them whipping and the trailer tilts a little. You feel it a lot on when a big truck goes by. of these is just to get it loose enough to get your scissors in there sideways and this stuff is like uh, when it turns wet it'll turn real gooey it's like in the event the fiber ever so we could either separate our tubes or put our straight members on which I'm going to do now so there's actually two different kinds of clamps I always use the bigger ones for like the backbone main fiber, which is this 144. We also got this, which put all of these things in. I call them little alligator clamps. I don't know if that's what they're really called. They just click in like Legos. Since our feed's gonna come in this side, I will put my laterals on the opposite. And that's just because, uh, just for everything to go in the tray better. So this clamps on the bottom, so Usually just give her a little eyeball. This stuff really cuts hard.
You want to make sure no fibers are underneath. They're all on top. And then tight, but not like Superman tight. Then I give it a slight bend. Then same thing over here. Just kind of eyeball it. do the one on the back side first just because I think it's easier. They just slide in there and they usually want to pop out. These guys got a bad angle for this but you just put the hose clamp on and to those little alligator teeth and squeeze the fiber in so it can't get pulled out. Same thing, you want it tight, but you don't want to like give it everything you have because then you'll just crush the fiber. A lot of times you wish you had three hands. Splice and you don't have one of these little vices, I highly suggest it. If you can, this is something you really don't want moving around once you're trying to do stuff. So this just kind of locks her in. It's also why I bend those a little bit so it pushes down and keeps these up because if you ever pinch those in a vise, that's a uh, game over, you're getting fired probably. So yeah, so I'm pretty sure we're doing 61 to 84 and 85 to 90. So it should be white, red, and half a black. So since we're using all of white and red, we can favor the side we want a little and cut them over here. Then we'll actually have to ring cut black too.
And I have all kinds of videos of that, so we'll come back when uh, that's done. All right, so we got our black tube ring cut here. And we got white and red already. Kind of let those hang back here. We won't need those till later. Now we will uh, prep these two, which I'll probably just put you on a time lapse. Only took five ten minutes, probably is only a few seconds for you guys. So we got our fiber. And this is what our can looks like. We just put that 24 count and 12 count in. These are the little hose clamps that squeeze onto these alligator clips. This is our backbone fiber. So now what we're going to want to do is put our gel butt in, attach the back, and then we will tray up all the fiber. The number one rule of splicing is once you attach the tray, when you take this off, oh baby! You have to do that or the fiber gods aren't happy and you're gonna break fiber your splices will be bad it just it won't work unless you do that so always remember that I guess first we'll probably put our gel butt on I was gonna straight put him in the tray but I like to do this first You usually just click this tab, click this, and then spread out. And it's kind of sticky because I had it in front of the heater, which is not very smart. Kind of satisfying though. It's like a big old fucking snot rocket. you can see this you kind of just drop it in there spin it push it down that one goes there that one goes there slide it ahead and squish her back together you didn't use you put these in which are butt plugs that's what they're called bro get your mind out of the gutter we're splicing fiber here Jeez. let me get our butt this is where if you forgot this then you're really not happy right now this slides on here. Yeah, 
have certain little tabs you gotta line up. Three eighths inch nut driver. four of them and just tighten them down so it makes it watertight I'll unhook you I guess to show you so it's these little doohickeys right in here that one that one and there's one on this side and down here And then once you're done, you tighten this thing and it will explode that gel and seal all of these. And really the rest after this is, is easy. Getting all the fiber and cutting all the trash out. And that's the hardest part. Splicing it is, is really not, not hard. The machine does all the work. So we'll do the ring cut first, which will be this, which is kind of short. Could have been a little longer. and pull a little more usually I mark it with a sharpie but of course on this black tube you won't be able to see it and that should be plenty right there I will mark it anyway So usually you'll zip tie everything together, but this is just a personal preference of mine of if I do a ring cut and then fiber with tails like these ones, I will uh, do it separately. This is our ring cut tool. This is a Miller. I've had it since 2019, so she's pretty, uh, pretty used up. There's like different holes in here. So obviously you can tell by the black one that that is the one that is used the most. Probably the most dangerous tool in fiber splicing. So yeah, it's suspected can't see those marks at all we'll just give her the good old eyeball load her and pull and this is that tool that you cannot stop once you start I mean you can but you're gonna have a rough time Just cuts a little slit off. And trim this little piece. And the fiber just pops right out. 
A good way to practice this is counting all 12 fibers in here before you cut this because there could be a fiber hiding in here. But I did the wiggle test so I know we're going to be fine. There's that. This makes lots of trash and there's always this string in there too, which is the same as the string on the outside. If it gets wet, it will turn to goo. When you get this black Velcro-y stuff, cut some slits. This just wraps around your tube to give that zip tie something to really grip onto so this doesn't ever slide out of the tray. And again, don't go Superman tight with these. You just want to hold it in there, not squish it. Same thing on the other side. Probably not the greatest camera angle. I'm sure my head's in the way most of the time. There's limited stuff in here to hook the camera to though. And surprisingly, for being so cold out, it's not the GoPro's not shutting off on me a million times today. So that's a plus. And then we got our fiber. Usually tuck it in the first ear and then just keep it under. Good practice is keeping your table clean. Get all the tools that you don't need out of the way. Now we will prep in the other tubes. All right. So all the fibers are in the tray now. 36 on each side, but we're only burning 30. So I'm just gonna splice these up and uh, show you what it looks like after. Cause that part is very boring. So, see you in uh, about eight seconds. Last burn. I wish it was uh, as quick as uh, you guys as it was for me. Or quick as for me as it was for you guys. I don't know. Words are hard. probably took about an hour nice start recording and it messes up we'll just edit that out yeah right Warmed up a little bit. I think it's about 20 now. 
And the great thing is, is it's almost lunchtime. And then I get to go do another one just like this. So excited. Kind of put these in one by one. In wrapping a tray you always want to finish up top because that's where your little bit of difference in uh, measurement will hide better. Gross. I just have to fluff it a little bit. Say a few swear words and he usually goes right in there. Just gotta play with it all, make it super sexy and voila! Got it! Very easy! Well, if you made it this far, give it a thumbs up, give me a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and I hope everyone has a fantastic day and an awesome 2024. Later, bro. Jesus, I must be high. I almost forgot the best part. Yes, you have to do that putting it back on too, or it's wicked bad luck. Later, bro.